Hi, this is Dave. Um, one of the questions that came up after I uh, put up my video about adjusting the anti-squish thingamajig screw was how to uh, adjust backlash on the stealth burner. So uh, while I've got this new stealth burner sitting out, uh, I wanted to, to show you guys how to do that. So the, the important part about the backlash between the 50 tooth gear, which is right here, and the 10 tooth gear that's on the motor is, if you've got it set like I've got it right now, I'm pushing back and forth on this, there's no play between those two gears. Now that might sound great that everything's nice and tight, but what's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna prematurely wear the, the plastic gear here because those teeth are too tight. You want a little bit of play between those, but not a ton. If you've got too much play, then it'll be uh, imprecise. If you've got uh, not enough play, then like I said, they're gonna wear prematurely, um, and that's not a good situation either. So to adjust that, obviously we need to move the motor around a little bit. You wanna loosen up this screw. That's the pivot that's got a little bit of a slot in it, or that's the, uh, the adjustment side. This is the pivot screw for the motor. You wanna back those off just a little bit, not a ton but enough to where here you can see that motor can now move around a little bit in that slot. So uh, the way that I adjust is, is I get it fully tight, right? That's all the way. Uh, if I'm looking at the rotation here, I rotate that fully clockwise, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and then just with my thumb, barely push that a little bit until I just see it move a little bit. I'm gonna snug this down and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to listen. I don't think that you can hear it here, right? You can barely see it if you can see it at all, but there's a little bit of a clicking between the gears, right? Just a little bit and I can barely feel it. And that's all that I need. I just need uh, realistically about the width of a sheet of paper between those gears uh, for it to be the right backlash. If you get a little bit more, all right, I'm gonna back it off a little bit more here. All right, so if I've got it backed off a little bit more here, now I should be able to see some of that motion. That's not terrible, it's not gonna be as precise, but I doubt that you're gonna be able to see that in your prints. That's perfectly okay. <laughs> But once you get that tightened down with that screw on the slot, once you check it and you can hear just a little bit of a, or feel a little bit of a play, tighten the, the screw in the slot down, tighten your pivot screw down, recheck, and if everything's still good, you're good to go. Good luck.